Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to continue with this 7 degrees of freedom robot arm, which I made in kind of two weeks. But after these two weeks it did not work well. So I changed some original controllers on the actuators with the mini Cheetah-like controllers. And I hope that today we will be able to run this robot arm properly. Let's get started. I would like to implement one small modification to this actuator. The problem is that this controller does not allow to measure the temperature of the actuator. But we have these two wires from the thermistor of the actuator. So I put this uh, small connector on these wires. And I will measure the temperature of the actuator using these cheap thermometers. I have already disassembled one of them. And I found out that it uses the same kind of thermistor as inside of this actuator. Both thermistors have 10 kilo ohm resistance at 25 degrees Celsius. And when you increase the temperature, the resistance goes down. But the problem is that the slope with which it goes down probably not the same because the sensors are not the same. But anyway, it should be a good indication of the temperature. So over here I glued this connector which is connected instead of the sensor. So if we reassemble our device. So now it shows low, but let's connect our actuator. And it shows 23.6 degrees. And the real temperature is 23.4. So you see they're both quite close. Of course, the difference between the real temperature and these readings is going to be higher at higher temperatures. But I hope it's going to be a good indication. I have also 3D printed this small cover, which is fits perfectly well over here. There is two small holes for the LEDs. One LED shows the power and the second LED shows when the actuator is enabled. And afterwards, probably I gonna fix uh, somewhere this uh, piece uh, with the double sided scotch. Yeah, should be nice. And I was holding this actuator in my hand, so it heated up a little bit with the heat of my body. And as you can see, the temperature rose from the 23 degrees to the almost 25 degrees. So it's kind of works. And over here is our robot arm. I already installed our three new actuators. It's not new actuators, but actuators with the new controllers. This is axis number three. Here there is axis number two. And the axis number one with the temperature measurement. This electronics which I'm going to use, I already showed it in one of my previous video. The only change is that three motors with MIT Minichita controller I'm going to power up with the batteries through this piece of equipment. And so I need to reprogram Arduino in order to be able to control three first axes with MIT Minichita controller and four other axes with controllers from the Gem company. And so, uh, yeah, I need to change the program. So the axis four... 5, 6 and 7, they all use these gem actuators with the original controllers. Right now in the Arduino program I disabled axis 2 and 3, so I have only one new axis enabled. And of course there is axis 4, 5, 6, 7 enabled because they worked before, so I don't expect any problems with them. Let's try like this first. Let's try the axis 1. And the axis 1 does not work. I need to check my program. I think I found the problem and uh, the problem was of course in the code and uh, the problem was of course stupid. I was assigning very small float value 0 0.01 to the integer value. And of course when you assign small float value to integer value in Arduino you have zero. Yeah, and I was adding this zero to the current position of the actuator and the actuator was not moving at all. It's normal. But now I solved this problem, so let's see how it works. And now I can move it. It moves in steps like this. I don't really understand why, but at least it moves. This is progress. Now let's connect other axes. Now I have connected all the axes, but they are all set at super low speed. This axis 1, this is axis 3. No, this was axis 2. And this is axis 3. Just maybe need to increase speed a little bit to make it more fun. 
I have attached this cupboard hand like this we can see better the end effector main power Cool. And let's rock and roll. Axis number three, 23 degrees. Axis number one, 45 degrees. Axis number two, 37.5. Still okay. Great. Cool. I think what we have made today is very important because today we showed that this idea of the design, this design is a quite good design for the robot arm. And uh, there is one thing which I really like about this design that all the weight is in the shoulder and in the elbow and the extremity of the robot arm is very light. Also the nice thing that this extremity is quite narrow and in size it's comparable to the human arm. So like this, this arm can easily reach different places, holes or something. Of course there is a problem that the elbow is huge and the shoulder I think it's not really powerful enough. So it would be nice to take more powerful actuators, put it in the shoulder and take less powerful and more compact actuators and put it in the elbow. And in this case, this robot arm would be really perfect. But this is for the future videos, because otherwise it's not fun. So we managed to improve the design. Now it works. Before it was uh, not really working and now it works. There is some problems like axis number three moves in some steps. I don't know where it comes from, but still it's way, way better than it was before. And now it can move like almost everywhere. And I really like that we put this small thermometer at each joint of the shoulder like this we can rapidly see if there is a overheating of one of the motor. And all of this was possible thanks to my patrons. Here are their names. 
Thanks to them, I have the time and possibility to do this project. So, if you would like to support my channel, you can become my patron. Or you can support me via PayPal. All the links in the description to this video. Another very nice way to support my channel is to subscribe to my channel, to put the like to this video and put one or several comments down below. And I would also appreciate if you would share this video with your friends. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time.